Sargon here. I'd like to thank you for joining me again today for another episode here in Bytown. We are, let's get things rolling. Uh, we are in our linear park that we built last episode and I think it looks pretty good. You know, I really love the fact, oh, jumping around here, that we have this bridge that uh, goes over this path and that was just a happy accident. You know, we got a nice little skate park over here. You know, maybe we'll try to come in at some point and, you know, r remove the this, this fencing here. Uh, you know, we've got a nice area. You know, it's right across from our high school. You know, I love these uh, network assets here that puts, you know, a nice decoration along the tram tracks. Looks pretty good. You know, our tram stop there, some plaza areas. And of course, our nice new uh, public library right up against the waterfront here. That looks looks pretty good. Uh, did he just jump? Anyways, you know, we got people cycling. Pretty good spot. But what we're going to do is we're going to come up over to this area here and we are going to tackle a developmental need. And we're actually going to... Make sure we're running at one speed because I know there is a death wave coming. In fact, we're going to actually deal with this two ways. So let's go over to our historic church. So we're over here at our church. And as you can see, there's uh, sadly no more room uh, at the cemetery. And this one is nearly full itself. So we will come in and we are going to add in, I think two cemeteries. I think this makes sense. We will add our road in. In fact, I think one of the things that we will look at doing is we're gonna remove this, this road here and we will bring this over much closer and we will run a path uh, down just like we did with the other one. There we go. Oh, and we accidentally deleted a path. In theory, I could reset these, but you know what? I'm going to let them um, Let them be, because that is at least a little more real to life. Well, sorry, pardon the pun, no pun intended. Uh, so this will help with a death wave that I know that we have coming. But let's get over to the area we want to build in, which is up on top of our high school area. We have this nice plateau area. So first off, we're going to come in and we're going to remove all our trees. This will just make it much easier. And we're going to remove this road and it'll get rebuilt. But for now, we are going to uh, basically uh, skip that. So with that here, we're actually going to come in and we're going to use our network multi-tool as we jump around a bit. Uh, but we're just going to grab a regular 2U road. Uh, yeah, this is the one we want because we do want to allow parking. And we're going to come in and use our parallel tool. I think we can come to here and we'll, we'll try for here and we'll see if we keep it. Now the trick with this is we don't want to get too close. Let's try 20, mil, uh, 20 meters. Yeah, it's not too bad. And the reason why is if we get too close with this, it'll start messing with the terrain of below the key down here. So, so we have that in here as our base for our new road network. And now we need to kind of, well, make sure it's, it's all connected. Uh, so the other one that we will come up and do as well, uh, before we completely make uh, this completely connected neighborhood is we're going to come in and we will come in uh, 
here is good. And I do want to leave a little space in between. I think that looks good there. So now we have a perfectly parallel road there. Now I do want to come in and this road that we're going to use will be a, we'll have bike lane. In fact, let's, let's do this once more. Uh, let's come in and we are going to We can use shift to jump this up. And we will run this uh, parallel to the road we just put in. And I think that looks pretty good. Now we can come in, make sure we have our curved road tool on. There we go. That's looking good. Uh, we will jump back to our regular road and we will look to connect these. So we have all this coming around pretty good. And what we want to do is we're going to start to make this work. This is going to be a basically a townhouse development. And we are going to find, uh, we have some eco towns and it's these two models here we're gonna put in. And we can start uh, down here to begin with. And what I do want is to kind of put, I think four of these units in you know what, I noticed, and I've got to figure out, I've changed a setting somewhere uh, where my roads aren't always starting with the zoning as they should. But as you can see, it did it here. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. So we have that. Now we'll come back in here because I do want to leave Base. We're going to put a path through. I think we'll do another one here. Now, before folks get too upset, we will run some water pipes in. Actually, we'll, we'll pause the game so because we're just going to have that to, to deal with as we go through because uh, then there's going to be power issues and the like. So let's come up here uh, and we will add in. I uh, want to come down here once again with our road network. Turn off bending. I just want to find where about 19 units are. About here. So I'll put a little stub right there. Uh, we're going to come along here as well. Come down about 30 units. And we'll bring that down. Got a road there. Nice connection. Now, I do want to run uh, behind here uh, some more, some more of these homes, uh, the exact same models. So let's put in a road parallel to this. So let's make sure we've got angle on for this one. Do 
you want to come in with a curved road. Oh, you know, one thing I noticed, well, you probably did too. We have our day-night cycle on, so let's get back uh, to daytime. All right, so we're back in here, uh, daytime. Let's see, this should work out just fine. So we're gonna run some homes right along here as well. Now, I wanna see is we're gonna come in and with our paths, we're gonna come to landscaping. And we're just gonna run a gravel path. The reason why I'm picking gravel as much as I would prefer something else. Is that it conforms to the terrain. So if we were to come down here and I think what we'll end up doing is putting some hedges through but we're coming along. Uh, this is uh, definitely coming along. Now, what we will come in and do is continue adding our some eco townhouses. And I do want to put some here. But because unlike these units, uh, well, technically they don't have parking. Oh, wow. Uh, and we're also going to have to come in and fix the height of these. Look at that. So, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm in decent shape, but I'm definitely not in the uh, high jump uh, shape. So let me uh, just quickly fix these up. Okay, that is a lot better. So let's continue with the uh, gravel path. We'll run that right all the way through here. We will connect it oop, at these spots. And same thing here, we'll connect it there. Now we will put uh, some hedges or a fence uh, running right along the back here, but we'll get to that a little later. And the only other thing we need to do here at this point is run this path. Oops. Up to connect. Now that is a bit of a jump. So let's use our landscape soften train tool here. There we go. I think that's uh, that makes that a little more reasonable. Okay, so things are looking good. Now, what we want to do uh, at this spot is we are going to put a parking lot. Uh, let's see, how big can we get away with if we were to do this large one? That would be too big. So let's come in with this one here. And we will have to make sure that is at the same height. A lot better. And in fact, before we attach the drive road, We'll just bring that all the way over. And in fact, let's bring this right down to the road. And we'll come in halfway. Hmm. Something went wrong there.
There we go, got that fixed. Uh, what we can do is network controller this. Oh, we're on the wrong tool. There we go, something was wrong. Fix that up a bit. It's not bad, okay, perfect. Well, perfect slash, that works. So now that we have uh, this in, we're gonna come over to this side and we will add in a, another series of eco townhomes. These ones here. Now, what you'll notice, I think we can get three sets in, is these have units on both sides. So what I do want to come in before I add in uh, more of them, because I do want to put another series right through here, is once again, we will come in with, uh, with our parking lot and we'll run this one up. Now we don't wanna connect it. We don't wanna make that a straight through connection and we wanna keep it off the main road. So there we go. Uh, and then we just come back in and do the same thing and we will add in uh, some more townhomes. So this neighborhood will hopefully really help with all the residential demand that we have uh, down here, as you can see. But I think this would be we're using the same uh, series here. And we're going to have to come in and do a little. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a tad bit of work here just to soften that up, but we'll do that later. Uh, now with this here, we'll come in with uh, just a regular road instead of parking. And once again, we don't want this road to actually connect but we will want it to run it up right to the top. That way it's not a cut through road. And I think that will work out a lot better. You know, it's a nice little neighborhood coming together here. Nice townhouse uh, development. Now, of course we are not done yet either. So let's come along the, the bottom here on this street here, current, currently Fawn Street. And let's leave a little bit of room. So how far that is 12 units. Uh, let's come down. Uh, let's use this as a bit of a marker. Yeah, let's come down to here. So that's three. Let's bring that up to here. And we'll once again, we'll run along the side. Let's come out here. Once again, we'll come up nine units. We will connect these two. So this will make another uh, little series of eco townhouses. So let's come in and use uh, these here. So if we come in and have a look, we've got a couple options where to place them. We can perhaps If we were to do it this way, that's uh, jumping around a bit because of zoning. That way everyone is on the street. Oop. And maybe what we'll do here is we'll put in a path, but we will provide parking. Uh, 
So let's come in and let's add in some more parking because parking is king. I believe uh, neighborhoods need to have sufficient parking because otherwise you're just gonna put it on all on street parking and I'm not a fan of that. So if we come in and we just add some more units here. Okay, once again, we'll come in with move it because we don't want the gaps there. We'll run another parking lot. Well, looks like a little too close. So thanks to amazing mod, move it. Oop. There we go, a little better. Straighten that out. And I think what we can do is let's let's do another well, let's make sure we've got room for one more set here. So we've got one, three, one, a little bit of symmetry there. Uh, so maybe that road was fine. Fine-ish. So let's come in with move it and we will just nudge this road a little more this way. And we will come in with some surface painter to fix things up. Now the thing is, should we look to provide a path in the back? I think that would be good. Nah, you know what? I think if we just fill that in with surface painter and detailing time lapse, that will also work out. Now, the other thing we need to look at doing is connecting uh, this road up here, uh, not with a parking lot. So I think that looks good. Now let's see if we can find, uh, I think I have an idea, if I can remember how to spell townhouse. Yeah, these units here, I think will work pretty good. Not what I originally, I originally intended to put these here, but I thought I'd put some more in. But this works, as you can see from this road, we'll have access to their garages, but they will uh, front uh, the street here. And that way all the traffic, in theory, isn't um, coming off, I guess, Jones Street. So looking good, looking good. Now, the other thing I want to look at doing is I do want to add in a park. So let's come down here. That's a little too big. So these are some great assets I downloaded. So even though we have, um, so like this is an eight by eight, even though uh, I could put in city parks and just put some trees, I, you know, unfortunately you do have to play the game somewhat and that requires that requires us to find, um, or put in some assets. So I think, you know, let me just uh, look through here. It's like this path park. Literally what it is. Uh, but let's, 
Okay, let's see if there's a slightly longer one that could work here as well. So we got this nice three by nine one. I think that works quite well. So we will come into our landscaping. We'll get some, just our normal pavement path here. And try to figure out uh, why that's wanting to, uh... hmm. I had this problem on occasion and I'm not sure why. So that one went fine. Like I know there's a bit of a slope here, but I'm pretty sure these were supposed to be uh, terrain forming. There we go. That should connect. And speaking of connect. Huh. See, I don't know why. Let's do that for now. Hmm. Very weird. Very weird. So we have things started there. Now, what I want to do is I mentioned we're having another problem with um, uh, death care and we are going to come in and add another church and we will use the same tombstones um, that we've had used on the other side. So let's see. Got this church here. Got a few different churches. Even got the one from The Walking Dead. Hmm. Thought I had another one here that could work quite well. Definitely some options here to look at. You know what? This, uh, like, I think these are definitely too overpowering for the, the location. So let's get rid of them. This one's just a little too underwhelming. You know what? I, I like this one here. Let's let's go with uh, let's go with this church here. So the question is, what's the best way to fit all of this in? You know what, let's also have a look here. That's a bit of a slope. Um, hmm. So let's come in and, oops, not delete. Use our move tool. We'll bring this down. And now with that done, let's come in and actually let's use this. Oh, and I've got the wrong tool. I want it uh, slope tool, not not the parallel road tool. And that's created some problems here. So I think we'll need to uh, play with the slopes along here as well. So if we were to come in and just move this down, 
a tad, then I think what will come in, and that should hopefully make all of this a little more reasonable too. Yeah, those stairs now work. That's at grade. Yeah, that's a lot better, a lot better. We'll still have to work on the back. But that means before we get into doing anything here, let's uh, landscape this out a little. Oh, as you can see, that took a huge swath out of the train as well. So let's make that brush a little larger. Kind of smooth things out all the way along here too. Even though we're not doing anything on, on this side here really today. Okay, so let's come in, put our church in. Hmm. Let me just uh, think about this for a moment. So I had a little bit of a, a redo here. Uh, I will point out I moved these row of townhomes up. So this road is now uh, further um, towards the bottom of the screen. Uh, this will leave, and I smoothed out this train a bit, and I did add in another parking lot and two more of these here as well to kind of fill that space out. But that allowed me to take a moment while I was thinking about what exactly did I want to do here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a parking lot right here. So we got, oop, sorry about that right over the church grounds. Uh, anyways, now we're gonna fix that. We're gonna put this right here. And this will basically become a central point to this church. I think that looks pretty good. Now, what I will do is I think I do need to come in, yeah. As you can see here, because of the train issues, we don't get all our markings in. So what I wanna do is we'll bring this road up. And I think that will help. So what I wanna do now is add a park next to the church, perhaps the large uh, playground here. Mm, no, just a tad, yeah, no, too large. Small playground. Yeah, I think this will work. I think a lot of churches would have a playground. Let's see if I can pop one in this corner. No, that's going to destroy the path. And I think it's going to be a little too tight, especially with the slope we got going on there. Maybe dog park. No, they look to be about the same size, so I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, no, I don't think I can squeeze that in. We'll have to do something with that a little later. So now let's just come back over here. Uh, definitely the small playground will work. I think it's a great asset to have here. Now, what I'm just gonna do is come in here and quickly smooth out this little hump at the back of the church. Here the health menu, we've got a real uh, realistic working cemetery, it's the same ones we used at the other church. I, you know, I definitely love to look at these. We just need to make sure they're close enough to the road to make sure that it recognizes it. Um, so we'll put three in. I think that will look uh, pretty good here. Uh, now what I really love about these is if you notice they conform to the terrain. Uh, so that makes things a lot easier to, to use because, you know, I think it's realistic. Now, I uh, just need to quickly adjust, uh, not the church, but the, uh, 
the cemetery here to make sure that the headstones are connected to the road. So we got one there and just, uh, okay, uh, I think I'm gonna have to uh, quickly adjust these here. Adjusted them both at the same time. Okay, hang on, which ones? Okay, they're both got the not connected to the road. Just kind of keep rotating here. Uh, okay, let's, I just gotta look. Okay, so the arrows at the bottom. So I just need to make sure, there we go, that one's good. So I'm just gonna rotate all these so they're all in the same headstone direction. And we'll just rotate this one around and there we go. I think that's looking pretty good. So now coming over here across from the uh, cemetery, which by the way, it's not a spot I would prefer to live, but uh, you know, one day uh, we all kind of reside there, but uh, I'd prefer not to live across from it. However, uh, you definitely have hopefully very peaceful neighbors. So uh, we're gonna stick with our eco theme and I think we'll go with some low rise um, residentials along this stretch here. I think that would make sense. I don't, I don't feel like it'd be appropriate to have anything that's too high rise. And I would like to use some different assets. So these are from the Green uh, City DLC. So I think we can just use a few different ones along here. Uh, so let me just uh, plop a few in right now. So we've got those in. I think this uh, looks pretty good. Just adjust this one slightly. And you know, uh, I think that is you know, a nice look from across the church and the cemetery. Um, now we do have a few things we do need to take care of, like this section right here. Now, looking at it, uh, you know, this this is the bait as to what to put. I could put a little park in, a little coming across, but we still have high residential demand. So what I think we will do is we'll come in and I think we'll add some more green cities in here as well. So let's have a look, come back in here. Maybe some high, high residents. Um, so let's just look at the vanilla. So these are the, once again, green cities DLC. They're all pretty, oh, these are all pretty tall. Not exactly what I'm looking for. So these aren't bad. Uh, maybe I could st uh, put two of these in, you know, front to back. Put one in. Uh, okay, there's a little zoning issue. I can fix that. But I think, yeah, that's, you know, I know in some areas, like, things get tight. But that is just a tad tight for me. So I don't think that's going to work. Uh, perhaps I can find something. Okay, these are one unit instead of two unit depth. You know what, it, it, it's, these are pretty tall. Um, you know, right in the middle. Now I know sometimes infill development, actually in the suburbs I'm in, there is a there is some infill development that's coming in in what is a relatively new neighborhood. Um, that is going higher than the local uh, single family homes uh, around them, however. But I wonder, so I think what we can do, because I do like these units here, uh, but obviously not enough space uh, behind them. So I think we're gonna have to have a little look-see as to what else we can do here. And perhaps what we can do, um, I think what we can do is we're gonna copy uh, this one here and we're just going to, cause these will look out at the road, not at uh, directly as the main viewing area out at the other uh, townhomes next to them. So let's just copy, I think we can put three in. I think that would look pretty good. And then what we're gonna do, okay, we are going to have to figure out a way to reposition these. And I, and I think the way we're gonna accomplish that is by putting a little side road in. So let's pull these 
down a little further. Yeah, because I don't think offsetting them is going to work. Yeah, no. So this is definitely not going to work. So let's um, come in and put a road right through here. And oops, I did not have no stamping on. So let's try that again. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to move that up just a bit so I can get these homes on both sides. And yeah, that should be a good spacing between the apartments or the higher taller condos there and where we can put a little road right through. Yeah, there we go. So then what we're gonna come in and do is we are going to use Yeah, there we go. We finally got move it to work. We're gonna copy that. Uh, okay, there's a little zoning. I really have to figure out what's going on with that little zoning glitch. So we'll just come in, we're gonna copy these and we'll place another set of two right next to it. And then same, let's just delete these here. And we'll once again, just come in and copy two of these. And yeah, a little bit of problem there. Let's come around, try that again. One, two, there we go. And we'll just place these around here. Quick rotate. And we will place two of them. I think that looks good. I like it. Uh, I don't think we can fit any more in there now, but I think these look uh, pretty good. So let's come in and see if we can just add a little park in here, maybe a little plaza area. So let's just, let me just uh, find a park to uh, place in here. Cause yeah, the ones that are like just way, way too big. So, okay, I think we got this little park uh, here. Looks pretty good. And I, th you know, it's a nice little gathering area. Um, so what I like about the, you know, getting some of the assets off the workshop like this, it will definitely help with the land values as opposed to if I just place these myself. So we're just gonna center these three buildings, make it a little, a little better there positioned. And yeah, I think that's uh, definitely uh, coming along. So we now have to just come in and do some work here. Uh, let's add in two more units, kind of fill in that space. I will admit, I like these condos. So these are once again from the workshop. If you're living in a townhouse, you know, not too bad, not too bad. So things are coming along pretty good. So we have an empty spot here. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with as well as uh, this spot here. But we will leave that uh, for a future episode for sure. But it's looking good. So with all that done, uh, let me just jump into a little detailing time lapse.
they both work. But I want to come in and try to get it on the right side. So that these things will help with the land values. Make everybody happy. In fact, we can also now grab this one. And we will run this one this way just to also help with the land values. And this should make even more people happy. So as you can see here, uh, and the way we just deal with this in the short term, but we can kind of come up here and see the fact that, oh, well, they're really happy with death care and I hope so. Um, you know, we don't have any health care in this area. There's no elementary school within reach, even though there's one not too far away, just over here. Um, but you know, you can see there's some things they're not happy with the high school. They do recognize, uh, there's no university, although, hmm, there could be something coming Added some public transit in. So there is some things that are going well here, but what we will try to do, you can see there are four buildings and with move it, the trick is just come in and reset the objects. And I missed one. Now, sometimes that, you know, the fact I've added the bus route, that might disappear. But for now, we've got this great eco development. I love it. Mainly custom assets from the workshop. Uh, but you see here, right along the key, these guys will have excellent access into the high school, as well as the linear park that we built last episode. You know, we got a playground here, a cemetery and church. So that really helps. It's a very walkable community. And actually, I realized before we do go, let's add in a few sp spots where these roads actually connect. There we go. I think that looks good for now. So there's more to do over here. We do have a piece of land here, some land here. And of course, we've got all this area to expand into. And speaking of healthcare, we do have the intent of sometime in the near future, putting in a hospital district. So with that, I'll leave you with a quick outro, but thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And until next time, bye for now.